what is dynamic memory allocation in C so during the run times you can allocate the memory space this process is called dynamic memory allocations right so just include the header file sddlib.h using this function have four possibility functions right one is a ml and next one is a cloc and next one is a uh, next one is a realloc and next one free so what's the difference between the static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocations memory allocation uh, static <coughs> memory allocations so during the compile time only so dynamic memory allocations at run time so memory cannot cannot be increased while execution executing a program in static dynamic memory can increase the while execution of um, the program uh, used in array static memory allocation used in linked list using right what is the process uh, what to do in the mlock so allocating the single block of the request memory is called mlock process and clock process is allocate the multiple block of the requested memory and realloc is reallocate the memory occupied by mlock or clock function and free the dynamically allocating the memory so mlock function function allocated the single block of the request memory uh, it does not initialize the memory at execution times so it has garbage value initialities it returns a null if the memory is not sufficient once if you are allowed declare the variable the memory space uh, check whether the memory is sufficient or not sufficient in the particular variable say if not sufficient means it uh, returns the null values sufficient means is uh, executing the some process getting some output so ptr so what's the syntax of the mlock is a ptr is just uh, you use the anywhere any name of this E equal to within bracket is cast a type asterisk mlock byte size and next one is a sample example programs include std.h include std library lib.h and void bind int n comma i asterisk ptr comma sum equal to zero printf enter the number of element and scan up get the value stored to the n this is that's why using the ampersand n so ptr equal to int asterisk mlock n asterisk size of init memory allocating using clock print uh, printf sorry unable to allocate the memory if the condition true means sorry unable to allocate the memory so <coughs> the false means enter the element of the array you go to the for loop and executing this process and get some output so finally free the pointer ptr already initialized ptr that's why the finally the free function execute clock is a function allocating the multiple block of the requested memory so it returns the null memory is not sufficient syntax of the clock ptr equal to cast type asterisk clock is a number number comma byte size as a example program c dash include std dot h as include std lib dot h wide main int n comma i asterisk ptr sum equal to zero printf enter the number of the elements scan of uh, percentage d uh, within double quotes uh, that's why using the integer value ampersand n ptr equal to int asterisk clock n comma size of int memory allocating using the clock if you, if you, you check whether the condition ptr equal to null or not null as a null means sorry unable to allocate the memory or exit printf enter the element of the array so if I go for the for loop execute the some execution process is executed the condition true means and till the loop <coughs> is false and next uh, printf free the memory allocating the space this output for this this output for the program realloc why using the realloc during the run times if you are supposed to allocate the memory space not sufficient using the mlock or clock you reallocating the memory space during the run time that's why using the realloc functions so syntax for the realloc ptr realloc ptr new size already you have the size some size is initialized uh, again once again use the reallocating the size free functions the memory occupied the mlock and clock function must be the released by calling the free function otherwise it will consume the memory until program exit 
Sometimes you uh, get, get some memory spaces uh, to avoid this wastage using the free. So uh, within the pause the argument PTR. The mainly the dynamic memory allocations. So four type of the function. One is a yamalock allocating the single block of requested memory. Next one is a clock is a multiple number of memory block requested and realloc already allocating the memory space once again reallocating the memory space during the run times free that is used to free the size free the memory space that's why the free functions okay this are we will meet next class